My mother was a quilter. She could turn a single cut of fabric into an entire universe. She had eyes on the tips of her fingers, and she could see into and beyond the weave and the weft, engineering cotton alive to become rivers, faces, rolling hills, jutting rooftops, two trains running headlong into a horizon of waking dreams, heaving with light, tall and steel and glass and luminous at the confluence. This is how we will make the air that we will all breathe tomorrow from the lungs of our ideas. There are small worlds inside of each and every one of us. Let them in and bring them out and lift them up and listen to them closely because those flinty sparks of light that flick the wick of night and keep you up, burning and churning out ideas like fire from the mouth of your imagination, those small worlds are making the future. One breath, one dream, one research paper, one rap at a time, so go there. Go to the bright. Go to the inside of the inside of the inside. Be there and see and move. Be consistently disruptive to any inclination to just let the status quo ride. Rise to the occasion of your own life with insistent, deepening focus with such courage and tenacity that when they tell you that you can't, you can't be a filmmaker, a mayor, a transportation policy maker, a a keeper of stories, a mover of kings, when they tell you that there is no cure, that the category five will end life as you know it. Tell them that you know a boy whose wheels are wings and he can fly. So rise to the occasion. Here we are in the simultaneity of time. Leaders among leaders, treating the untreatable, making new ways out of old ways, laying the salvage breath right up to the sky. Moment, material, matter, anything is possible. We are all here together. We earthling siblings, 99 to 99.9% .9 genetically identical. Each of us with a small, miraculous world of wonder within the carbon, starshine, and dust. Mostly, we're all just water and ideas aching to leap.